minimizing charisma, maximizing intelligence, shooting someone in the crotch with a cannonball, thrust, propulsion, it's science-y. <laughs> Why you always gotta be blowing my spot up like that? There are my runes. There they are. I'm not mad. Science needs art and art needs science. They both need each other to function properly. There are ways to figure out what the paper is really saying. And then I'm ready to get on Twitter and yell at people about doing their own research on the oh! oh, hold on there, sports fan. Kyle Hill, everybody, is the next generation of science communicator. I'm going to be too old at a certain point to do those terrible things to my body, and it'll be up to you. He's got like a lion. This guy's amazing. <laughs> Kyle Hill. I'm Boo Rambo. The universe is indifferent to you. Whether or not you have amazing hair, the universe doesn't care. How are trees pushing past this pressure limit? Ah! Behold, my balls. Ah! <laughs> now we're getting somewhere, but I still don't think it's worthy of G.R.R. Martin's suspender. I'm totally right, right? Post up photos of my my frickin' hair? Is that what you all want? No, you don't, weirdo. Kyle Hill. Is your last name actually Hemsworth? What's going on? Our, our resident Thor lookalike. I prefer uh, Black Friday Chris Hemsworth. Oh, thank you. Hey, you know, if you need a haircut. No, of course not. We're not going to send sharks with frickin' laser beams on their heads to an asteroid. We're going to nuke. You don't need Bruce Willis at all. <laughs> Wrenched. Oh! oh! Headshot! Oh. Kevin, turn on the monitor. Kevin, this transition better work. The blast doors can't. Kevin, turn it on. Ke Kevin. Thank you. Kevin, call his agent and have them call my agent. Kyle Hill. Happy birthday. Feliz Navidad. I'm just a biologist. I don't know how this works. This is how you do science. Can I just grab it? Oh. Laws. Corollaries. <laughs> 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 Bye-bye. I know that global catastrophe isn't the most fun thing to think about all day unless you're me, so... Are we gonna do some science, bro? <laughs> Lasers don't have that much momentum. That's not how a clockwise works. <laughs> Don't worry, you can do this even if you are not an AI. It points the boundary layer around a person to a dynamic. And I guess it matters what kind of dragon it's we're talking about. realize here is that the bigger the thing does- This kite is completely inaccurate, I'm gonna kill this guy and tell him to his face. You're wrong about physics! Not enough lift force, Oh. Nuclear metal donut thing with magnetically confined star-like plasma. The radiation flux in here alone is enough to cause instant death! That's really funny, I like that idea. Hey, look at me, I'm a streamer, I have a bedroom. We know anything with a decapitation hazard deserves to, uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, that's good, oh. that's fine. Put it on PBS, I dare you. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, indeed. Welcome to A Scientist Plays Fallout New Vegas. If you're just joining us here and I'm still in your character creation screen, this is all about playing through classic games in which I think that we can learn while we have fun. Hello, I'm your host, Kyle Boy. And in this series, hosted here... <laughs> Here at the facility, we'll be trying to have fun and learn at the same time. If you're just joining us for the first time, you can catch up on old streams on the gaming channel, or if you want to check out our day job here at the facility outside of the Gaming Command Center, you can go back to the main channel where we're talking about everything from doors versus wheels to people dying from radiation poisoning. But if you want to continue on this conversation after we're live, which is me about for two hours or so, why that specific time frame, Kyle? Because I said so. What did I say? Oh, you can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. Hey, welcome to everyone. I know that this face is exactly what you'd expect to create if you were starting Fallout New Vegas for the first time. Fallout New Vegas, um, by uh, cited by a lot of gamers as their fall their favorite Fallout game. 
and it has to do uh, in the Fallout universe after bombs have dropped uh, in a war between the United States and China. Everything is wiped out. Everyone's sent back to the Stone Age, more or less. There's factions vying around uh, for power in this game. There's uh, the New California Republic. There's gang members and uh, there's Caesar's Legion. But in this one specifically, I think why it impressed so uh, kindly upon so many people is that you actually go to Vegas and ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. You have fun there. And it's a good time for me to be playing Fallout New Vegas because I'm going to Vegas this weekend. Oh, not to gamble because that's a scam. Jared Robinson, hello. RJ Brown, hello. Koopa, welcome, welcome. What's a video that PewDiePie was talking about in your intro, says Koopa? Uh, that, he was watching the... Um, uh, Roko's Basilisk. Wow, very long intro, says J-Cat. <laughs> J-Cat, there's a lot more intro to do. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Just play the game already, J-Cat? No, I don't think so. You know why? Because I have to introduce you to the gaming wing of the facility behind me. 275 inch OLED plasma screen televisions where I can see not only what we're doing in the game but what you are saying as we are doing so in front of me 24 27 inch curved OLED monitors to give you the best in gaming as we attempt to science the crap out of one of the great sci-fi RPGs ever probably it came out 12 years ago but it's still just as fun you beautifully maned young god, says Hunk Henry Van Mengen. Henry, I'm gonna need you to ring a ding, ding it down a few notches, alright? Um, so yes, uh, for the next two hours or so, we'll play for an hour or whatnot, we'll take a break, we'll talk to you, I might eat some cashews for energy. Um, but we'll be playing from a new game. And sciencing as we do so. Since it's Fallout, we have a lot to say. If you came here from Office Hours, you know I'm going to be talking about them geckos. Promised you gecko stuff. I'll get you some gecko stuff. Um, but we're not going to start from the very beginning of the game. Uh, I started the game last night and I went past all the intro crap. So I've already uh, made my characters... We didn't have to go through... I was going to make the character look like me. So basically... I'm right before I enter the Mojave Desert. It looks like me. Maximized intelligence, minimized charisma, scientist plays. Okay? Any game rules, like only using sciencey stuff? We're going to be trying to make a... It's, it's how I would play as a scientist in the game. I'm going to hack stuff, because I like that minigame. We're going to use energy weapons. I also like using explosives in this game. Anyway. Join me from the command center now to fall out of Vegas. Yeah, I know, right? We <laughs> look, we here at the facility do things right. Okay, we we we're not just messing around here. All right, we don't just have a. A, a, a Red Bull fridge in the background with our bed. No, we do things right. And to do things right, chat, um, tell me, I have to turn on my headphones, but make sure to tell me if all the sound and everything is good as we're playing. Okay. Okay, I can hear everything, all right. I'll be playing on controller and um, I may be sick with COVID, but I'm really happy to finally see you play Fallout, says Dang Lad. Dang Lad, get in. Feel better. Here we go. Minimum charisma. That doesn't sound right, says Chris Nihil. Well, out in the world. Okay, so one thing I had to do before starting this game. You don't need to see my action points down there. It's fine. Uh, just my HP. One thing I did before starting the game, which I didn't find out until we were... Uh, until we played Fallout 4 together, chat was that unless I have my uh, monitor, my facility monitor refresh rate at 60, uh, the game moves, it, 
it was at 240. And when it's at 240, it moves me at an insane speed. Sounds good to you? Great. So I had to down, um, down my refresh rate. But your hair is... It sounds great, says Zachary, but your hair is restricted. Look, go back to office hours if you want to see the two-day main. Okay. Today, right now, we got to get... We got to get in gamer mode. We got to put our headphones on. And we'll be taking science time. Gecko's included when we get to it. But first, enjoy the opening scene, kind of, of Fallout New Vegas. This is the best part of any Fallout game. When you first enter the world, and you get this little introduction. Yep, 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 yep. Still looks pretty good. I know, I know. I have all the DLC. That's what's happening. Geckos! I have not watched or played any Fallout games as Misting Wolf. Well, then this is going to be interesting. I have my Pip-Boy. What do I got? I have all the DLC stuff. Um, I'm going to have to get used to the buttons again. What am I using right now? Sturdy Caravan Shotgun. Got my apparel on. Got my gecko steak. Perfect. Does this still put your gun away? Yep. Yep. So, okay. So I said I was going to do the first thing. The first thing I'm going to do is a risky thing. The first thing I'm going to I'm going to talk to this guy because he's a quest giver. Oop. Wrong button. Howdy, partner. <laughs> Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? <laughs> hey, gosh dang it. Thanks for digging me out of that Don't grave. Worry, I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Who's screaming? Nobody's screaming. I was out for a stroll. That's fine. Never seen a robot like you before. Robco Security Model 26 to be. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Yes, sir. Happy trails. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I, I've i totally raided poor, the poor doctor's shop. I completely took you must everything in it. Doc Mitchell was patching up. Doc well, Mitchell. I've got... Um, I'm going to sell what I'm looking for. I'm going to sell all this crap. What I'm looking for is a shovel. You will find out why I need that. I'm going to sell all this. Don't need any of this right now. Take my crap! Don't need any of this right now. Free up some weight. Keep the ammo. Okay, so now what I need... Um... Do you have all the DLC, says Jafer? Yes, all the DLC is loaded. Okay, so perfect. So I want a shovel. And we're going to take that. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, I wouldn't say satisfied. Take it easy now. Vow of poverty? No. So what I'm doing with this shovel is something very specifico. Um, there is... <laughs> it's going to be risky. How easy is it to save? What's my quick save button? Is it, is it, do I hold this? No. I guess I don't have a quick save button. Anyway. Um, did you get Wild Wasteland says Shadow? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, by the way, wait. How do I, how do I do this on controller? Good enough, right? Sneak. Okay, so... There is a legendary weapon. F5 is quick save? Nope. Um, there's a legendary weapon. It is a knife with a crazy high attack speed. Oh! We have hot babes in the chat! 
Thank you. Thank you, Crafty. Um, so there is a... There's a legendary knife in an unmocked grave. And we need a shovel to open that grave, and I want that knife early so I can start shiving stuff up. However, to make it there, did I sell the canteen? I don't need it non-hardcore, don't I? It's fine without hardcore. Um, to make it to where I want to go, I have to make it past some cazadores. And cazadores are the gigantic, radiationally large version of a very real creature. And we will get to that once we see them. Vegas in the distance. I will be there shortly. And somewhere about 65 miles north of Vegas over there is the Nevada test site where they had numerous nuclear explosion tests. And that's a future episode. Casadores will hurt you very much. <laughs> Good. So many... So many ladies in the chat. Okay, so that's that's where I'm trying to go. Kind of. I think that's where I'm trying to go. I'm gonna I really need a quick save quick save button. Um <laughs> Is it here that I'm trying to go? Or is it a, it's a, it's above them, right? Those are Cazadores. We'll talk... Uh-oh. I may have messed myself up here. No, we're good. Um, keep doing good things, Kyle. You've inspired me to get tested for a ASD. What item do you think would be the de facto currency in a nuclear wasteland? Well, I think uh, bottle I think I have to get over here. I think bottle caps was pretty clever. I changed my uh, button. My button, so I'm a little rusty on the buttons. Uh... Is this, is this where I, the grave where I want? I think it might be. Getting a little buggy. Oh, I can't go over there. <laughs> it's getting a little buggy. Get it? I don't think I can actually go over there. So where is the grave? Need a shovel. This is a, this is a terrible idea. Oh, it's such a bad... I pressed the wrong button. Such a bad idea. Um. Ooh, actually, is it? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Get the heck out of here! <laughs> Get out of here! I have no idea what the the rate the like. There you go. Get out of here! Get out of here, bugs! We'll get to what these bugs are in a second. Get out of here! What is the the? How high do I have to aim? There we go. <laughs> right there. I think... I don't even think this is actually where I need to be. Which is annoying. Yeah! Darn right. Explosion for science. Use the booms! Okay, so it's just this big boy right here, huh? Hit! Nailed it. Hit. I'm not sure this is where I'm supposed to be going. But you'll see. You'll see. I remembered this correctly. <laughs> yeah, you'll all see. You'll all see. And then we'll talk about what these bugs are. <laughs> Wrong button! <laughs> Damn. I think I'm poisoned now. Uh-oh. It did nothing! Boom. Okay, I should I should switch the weapons, but I should. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we had uh, energy weapons, explosives, repair, and science way up there, because that's what I want. I want science to maximum as soon as possible. Uh, energy. What else? What else is sciencey? Uh, I'm a sneaky little science boy. Yeah, I think I'm a sneaky little science boy. Um, 
That grenade launcher has the same flight pattern as a Nerf gun. Yeah, that wasn't very propelled. RPG sells for rocket-propelled grenade. Didn't look, didn't look very propelled to me. Yep. Okay. This isn't even where I wanted to go, is it? I think where I wanted to go was up... Am I dying? I am. Where I wanted to go was around the corner, which is bad. Because now there's going to be more cazadores. I switched my jump and my examine buttons, and I probably shouldn't... Am I... Am I... Am I going to die? See, I've been uh, poisoned. I've been poisoned by the Casadore. I'm already at full health. No, I'm not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't kill me. This isn't where I wanted to go, chat. That's, um... That's super bad. Because now I have to... I have to get past some other... Machete. I have to get past some other stuff now. Alright. This game is so buggy. If it says I'm at full health right now... Okay, thank you. Thank you. I shall eat the eggs of my enemies. I'm 15 minutes late and watching it at, at 1.25 speed. That's just the kind of... Fast, amazing gameplay you can get from me. Ah, I think I went the wrong way. Or is it up there? Oh, it's up there. Yeah. I think. Who else didn't heed the warning of the Cathadores? I, sw I should switch those buttons back. It's going to drive me crazy. Chris B with the 499. Thank you. Uh, just reload a save. No, but I killed them for experience points. It's up here. It's up here. We're good. Truly groundbreaking scientific explanations happening right now. This is Gabriel. Will you give me a gosh darn second? Yeah, see? I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna get this. I get the knife. Fast travel back. Talk about bugs. Yes. Chance's knife. Look at that. DPS 64. Super, super fast. Bonus critical hit damage. Bam. That's the whole reason why we did all of this. Chance's... Okay. I was promised gecko, says Zachary Johnson. Zachary? Zachary? We'll get to it. We're only... We're ten minutes into the street. Calm down. Don't break your legs. Cool. Okay. So. Yeah, there's geckos. Oh, Nick. Welcome, Nick. Welcome, Nick. Get your sick ass in here. Um, so Casadores, these guys. Science time. First time. Science time. Casadores are based on the insect known as the Tarantula Hawk Wasp. The Tarantula Hawk Wasp is a very real creature found around this area in Nevada near Las Vegas. And the Casadore, or what else now say is the Tarantula Hawk Wasp, Notably, has the second or third most painful sting uh, ever noted. And we have uh, an idea of how painful those stings are or not. Because uh, a guy... Oh, I forget his name now. Anyway, there's a scale. Um, and what he did is he took various insects... He'd take various insects and sting himself in various points of the body. His face, his hands, the tip of his ding-dong. He did that for science. The Schmidt Sting Pain Index. And uh, the Cazadore was right up there. Top three. Top three most painful stings known to man. No, don't, don't bring Coyote Peterson in here. He doesn't He doesn't do science stuff. He just annoys animals for money. Um, so Schmidt. Schmidt. Pain scale. Now, the, what the 
tarantula hawk wasp uses this sting for is to pacify tarantulas and then bury the still alive body of those tarantulas inside of holes. Much like this one, which is just a hole for people. It covers it up and lays an egg on the tarantula and then the little larvae of the hawk wasp eats the tarantula alive for sustenance. Now, all that being said, oh, the top ones, uh, Captain Dagon, was the bullet ant. Because it feels like being shot, literally. Like a, um, a hot poker being, dro uh, a hot nail being driven into your heel kind of thing. Um, anyway. What was I saying? Oh, so despite their fearsome reputation, and they are fierce, uh, fearsome if you happen to be a tarantula. Um, despite their fearsome reputation, they are quite docile. And they will only stink. I could have just slept, chat. Why didn't you tell me? And they will not sting you with their horrible, terrible, no good, very bad sting if they are provoked. And when I dunked on Coyote Peterson just a second ago is because when he stings himself with animals like the hawk wasp, which he did uh, in a YouTube video, don't watch it, you don't need to. What he did is sting himself, but you have, you saw him take it by a tweezers and physically like push the insect into him, like, like push it into him. It, he forced this animal to sting him. And you have to force the animal to sting him. It, it is a more docile creature than uh, its fearsome reputation presents. And that's science lesson number one. Whoo! You know what's next, chat. That means we're getting to geckos. Very soon. Eh. Why is that the button that... That sounds unpleasant for the wasp. Yeah, he really... Yeah, Patrick Stewart says he really had to agitate it. Yeah, it was, it's it's kind of crappy. Um, Chat, I'm going to quickly, just for the ease of, uh, I changed something around and I shouldn't have. I'm gonna change jump with this, and, no, 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 J jump is, no, jump is Y, and activate is A. There we go. I don't like that, but now I'm doing it and I can't not do it. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to Sunny. Who's a lovely lady? And then we're gonna go shoot some gecko in the face. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. I met a dog like that once. I met a dog named Duco who had trained in the military, and uh, he doesn't bite uh, unless he's told to. Um, and he bites. I saw him run into a building and pick up a M4 in his mouth and bring it back to the to the handler. And the handler told me. You know, you tell them to attack, and then in the next room you hear just bones crunching. And I'm like, God damn, you never get used to that, do you? And he's like, no, you do. <laughs> it's the kind of dog that had a, had a kill word. Who? Well, the thing was, the dog had two modes. Like, the dog was a, it was a thick, muscly dog. But the dog was, um, like a normal happy puppy until you gave him some commands in uh, Israeli or German, I forget. Um, and then he would just, he would just activate. And he's like, okay, what do you need me to do? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet uh, me outside. They shot me in the head, moon. canonically. Hey, ain't that a hole in the head? Ding-a-ring-ding. -ding. Is that going to get me claimed? Okay, I'll wait out the back for Sonny. Zachary Porter says, Kyle, you are the only YouTuber that my mom knows. <laughs> Zachary, tell your mom I said hi. <sighs> After I got the beard and, and my hair yeah. grew out longer, the on the fence there? a lot of moms know me. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. What? Did you give me a gun? Oh, you did give me a gun. Oh, wait, you gave me a crappy gun, right? Beep boop. Oh, it's uh, on controller. It's not good. Oh, come on. Eh. My sensitivity. That's the right idea. My Go sensitivity. 
Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice help, shot. Help your aim. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from Rent, thank you for the subscription. Anyway. Sailor John Saturn. Saturn. Subscribe it. Get it. up in there. Why don't you come along? Get <laughs> No, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'm oh, wait. That's the gecko mission. Wait. Wait, come back. Where are the geckos? They're over here by the water tower, yeah? Gecko time. And yet... Oh, that does that. And yes, chat, it is gecko science time. Just let me get my knife. Knifed. They're over here, right? What did you do? Says Nick. What are you talking about? What did I do? I didn't do nothing. You're too sensitive, Kyle. What are you talking about? What's anyone talking about? What'd I say? Where are they? They're out by the... Where do I fall? Is it up? No, it's not up there. It's down by the power station or something. You could play mouse and keyboard. I was impressed how well you managed it for someone who only plays controller uh, when you played Tarkov. And it's not detecting my mouse right now. Stop. Why? Is there going to be some, like, giant bug or something? Oh, I Okay, now I, I, I went the wrong direction. That's fine. But I did promise you Gecko. So I think it's right there. I think it's right there. I think it's right there. Let's go that way. You should join the Powder Gangers. They're, they have a plasma weapon. No, I will be wiping out the Powder Gangers completely. Famous quote, quote, It's gecko science time. Let me just get my knife. What do you mean I'm too... What do you mean I'm too sensitive? Does me responding to that comment in this way make it so that I am? Nick, what did I do? What What are you talking about? I didn't do nothing. This game needs a sprint button. Wait, does it have a sprint button? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Look at me. Kyle's a big old baby. What are you guys talking about? Oh, my controller sensitivity. Oh, right. Sorry. Let's see how good my memory of this 10-year-old game is. I think the geckos are here. I think... I think... I think. You can run faster if you put your knife away. Eh, slightly. I meant your aim, dude. Ah, yes. The sound of geckos in the distance. Yes! The sound of the yellow, golden, spotted gecko. The <laughs> the sweet warble. Ooh, this one doesn't have any reds. The sweet warble of the golden gecko. Block. Block a gecko. Wait, is, aren't they supposed to be right here? Jordan Casanova says, wow, I missed the whole thing. Jordan, I have good news. We'll be playing for a little while. Who are you? Okay, fine. Chat, I know I promised you geckos, but I honestly can't find it. Henry Van Megan. Kyle should get a pet gecko and name it Mr. Van Der Waals. That's what I'm trying... That's the science time I'm trying to get to. Henry? Hmm. Yes. The mating warble of the common sp speckled gecko yellow gecko <laughs> maidens maidens in the chat to make sure that we are not maidenless thank you maidens okay perhaps i should have followed young sunny because it's always funny try shift button for sprint i don't have a shift button on my controller where <laughs> Damn! 
I swear they were they're over there. I swear it to you. I would have bet money. <laughs> well, nothing to do but kill these innocent people. Just kidding. Uh, they are over. Wait, 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 wait. Click the stick. You click the stick. Trying to find the sweet. Oh, are they th are they up there? Trying to find the sweet. No, are they up there? Trying to find the sweet, sweet wobu of the yellow-breasted gecko skink. Do the mission for the guy you saw, and he sends you up into some geckos. No, I... It was part of the tutorial. For sprint, click the stick. No. That's that. There's not even a sprint... Chat. Will you please... There's not even a... Sneak, jump, change. Wait, 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 wait. There's not even a. It's not even a sprint button. Two hours later, Nick, watching Kyle run in a circle for a couple of hours. Hey, you're here. You know why? Charisma. My knife lusts for the blood of the semi amphibian reptilian creature. I will find you. And when I do... Alright, screw it. I'm gonna go back to Sunny and see if she can lead me back to Geckos. There's no sprint. I know. Kyle is on Xbox or PlayStation. I'm on PC. That's why it doesn't look like absolute trash. I work at two wastewater treatment facilities. I've seen ducks land and sink into our ration bases. Basins. Nice video, says Steven. Holy shit. Really? <laughs> That's gnarly, man. Thanks for watching. That aerated chat, as I said, on our members-only live stream, uh, if you have any scary warning signs, hey. send, send them to me. Hi there. Sticking around good because for a while longer. Those, uh, that, those videos do so well. Sure can. And I want to get to Prim. Not in good springs, no. If you want to clear out the schoolhouse. What are bobby pins for? And what's this for? All right, thank you. Damn! How many wheels are there in Fallout? Don't you even dare. Where can I send a warning sign? Says Zombie Mimic. Uh, tweet it at me. I know there's geckos around here. So, like, I was shot up there, right? Or was I shot up here? That's where I was shot, right? Or was I shot over here? No, that's not where I was shot. If you listen closely, chat, you can hear the soft weeble wobble of the spotted Coyote. Hey, look, it's Coyote Peterson. <laughs> hey, sting this. Yeah. That's why, that's why I got that knife. Just annihilated. Man, this game is still slow, huh? Um, does he have some unofficial patches? Um, no, no mods. Um, just all the DLC. I know, but see, like, that's where I got this knife. You can get this level one. Hit it! And, uh, yeah, it's... Ah! It it's just so fast. Kyle, you're kind of slow for a courier. Death 13, I need you to take your hands and do this and then shut up. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for the the speckled banded lizards. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for sticky lizards. <laughs> what is a gecko? What is a gecko if not just a sticky lizard? That's not a knife. This is a knife. Oh, look at all this stuff, eh? Gimme, 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 gimme. I'm gonna steal all your supplies. Yeah, Anti-venom. Oh, that would have been good to use. Oh, that would have been good to use when I got stung by that big-ass hawk wasp, eh? 
it's 9 p.m. Let's take a little siesta. I get that knife every playthrough and then usually head north, says James Swartz, who's also a gamer. Clearly. Can I actually escape my, my Pip-Boy screen here? Uh, wow. That's what death feels like, huh? Those are rad scorpions. Not interested. Okay, let's set ourselves a waypoint. So we actually can get some stuff done. Some stuff done here. Uh, as we move around. I want to go to... Trim. Beep boop. I know that, thank you. Beep boop. Boop boop. Boop boop. Here we go. Kyle, what do you think started the nuclear war and fallout? The US, China, vault or aliens? Um, is this your first playthrough? No. What's your PB and why aren't you speed crippling? Just kidding, says Emma. <laughs> Emma, you think I don't know what speed crippling is in speed running? Okay. I just don't have my, I don't have my uh, quick save and quick load uh, bound to my mouse wheel. So I can't, obviously can't do the rocket launcher based speed cripple that allow me to move over the overworld fast enough to get uh, PB in this game, which is only about 45 minutes or less, depending on the category. Mm, I know speed running. Emma? Hatsa! Emma, in fact, I, I immediately stopped following. Uh, Emma, in fact, I am going to GDQ. I will be at GDQ in person, not only enjoying the speed running, but uh, filming on an episode, I have decided. Because then I can make the travel costs a uh, uh, tax write-off. Um, I've decided to make going to GDQ an episode. The science of speed running. We'll be doing it. So I'm headed towards Prim, but what I really want is a gecko. So we can have not one science time, not two, but maybe even two. Mm. The sultry sounds of gross contamination. Is that a powder kegger? Powder ganger? It is. Yeah. We won't strike until the time is right. Rad scorpions that big cannot exist with today's atmosphere, right? No, not if they breathe through spiracles, which I believe they do, correct? Chat, I have a favor. As we're doing this, could you please like the video now and share it if you like what we are doing here on Scientist Place? This is a brand new channel, kind of. And if you want me to continue doing streams like this and playing games, teaching you things to the best of my ability as we do so, like the video, it does actually help. And comment on it. It does actually help. I would love... I would love to get this channel up to 100k so that I could have more awards than a previous channel. I'm not petty. My name's not Tom. But also... No, I know. Thank you. Yeah, you look ripe for the knifing. <laughs> but my... You are not my quarry. My problem is not with you. I, of course... I, of course, seek the elusive. Now, powder gangers are everywhere around here. We're not going to wipe them out yet. We're going to. I've shared it, and I think I brought in someone. Says, Hail Hydra, thank you. Not petty at all, says Nick. Nick, stop judging me. That's what sliding into my DMs is for. Jeffrey Wilkinson says, I almost li forgot to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I'll point out that I've never done that. Like in a, in a video. Have you noticed that? It's because I hate it. Five dollars from Liz and Alex because you're not petty and I'm totally here for it and support it. Thank you, Liz. Say hello to Alex for me. Tiger Counter. Now, I don't... There's a bunch of different Geiger Counters in the world that you may obtain. This is one. This is the one I brought to Chernobyl. 
Um, so that is to say, the one in Fallout that you're hearing now, I'm not sure what the mechanism of that sound is, but um, I could look it up what Geiger counter they'd use, and then we can talk about that. First stream I've caught. Happy to be here. Sub with the bell on. Says Noah. Noah. If you... <gasps> yes. 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 They suspect nothing. Oh, okay, they kind of suspect something. Okay, they definitely suspect something. Come here. The, su the subtle sound of the... Okay. The subtle sound of the young gecko hunter. He suspects nothing. The science boy approaches the gecko, who now <laughs> decides to stop like a deer in the headlights. The science boy decides, in full view of the gecko, to crouch. Seeing that the gecko is apparently afflicted with some sort of blindness. The gecko licks his eyeballs, a detail I have not noticed before. The gecko still not noticing... The threat of his adversary, seemingly aggroing to me, but choosing to do nothing as I approach. Geckos. Uh, geckos are an amazing little creature. Um, and as Henry was pointing out earlier, what makes them so amazing, what many people know them for, in terms of sciencey stuff, is their stickiness. And their stickiness is due to something incredible, down at the very fundamental levels of our universe. What is that? I'm getting it. How does stuff stick to stuff? How does stuff grab onto stuff? One way you can move around is just through friction. When you walk around with your little feet, you put a you put a force on a normal force on the ground. The ground pushes back. Friction is what propels you forward. It is the force in opposition to what you're trying to do. You try to move you try to move backwards. You, you try to move your foot backwards. Friction pushes the other way. It's a reactionary force. Now another way to grab onto stuff and move would be to get on the same scale as that stuff such that you can hook into it. So on our macroscopic scale, that's what Velcro do, does. That's why it's so sticky to itself because you can use these tiny, tiny little hooks, small hooks on the same scale as the tiny little fibers in your shirt or your carpet or something. And it can grab onto it. Now, what geckos do is even more amazing. It looks like they can grab onto and walk on basically anything. They can walk on glass. Like, straight up. Straight up and down. How? Well, at the very smallest scales, stuff like glass has microscopic cracks in it that you just can't see at our scale. Same with a, a you know, a seemingly polished wall of granite or something that an insect could climb up. And on the scale that their tiny little hairs on their feet get to, you could get into those nooks and crannies, but for a gecko, it goes even further. Not only are they get... So you look at a gecko's foot, and there's these little patches of little protein, little tiny hairs, and they get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller into tinier and tinier and tinier sections, and they get down to nanoscopic scale. Now, at that scale, not only can they fit into any nook and cranny on any surface that is not perfectly um, smooth, which no surface really is, or no surface that is important to them, but on the very smallest scales, atoms and molecules, all atoms and molecules have some partial charge to them. Even though, you know, you have one proton and one electron, it's electrically neutral, but these things are moving around. And so, as they move around, you can get partial charges here and there on these atoms and molecules. So you can have partial attractive and repulsive forces, even on something that's not fully charged either way. Now, the gecko's feet hairs are so small that the hairs on their feet and the atoms within them are small enough to get 
in contact with the atoms and molecules of the other stuff and take advantage of those partial attractive forces. They're called van der Waals forces. So geckos, they're able to climb on just about anything because they the hairs on their feet get so small, in fact, that they can interact at an atomic level with attractive and repulsive forces that are the fabric of everything. We just don't notice them because our stuff is so big. Now, let me slice this lizard. Hmm. Now that's science. Give me your... Give me your meat. <laughs> so it's like static electricity? Kind of. Kind of. But static electricity is a much larger effect. So van der Waals forces, um, partial charges on even neutral atoms and molecules, those charges are really small. And so to take advantage of them, you need to come in contact with other really small stuff, like the hairs on their feet. But you will never van der Waals force on something else um, at our scale. Static electricity is different because it's like a bunch of electrons collect collected on the outside of your body. <laughs> they should have a gecko crossing sign up here. Oh. Time for some lizard steaks. Nom, 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 nom. Man, I'm out of... That was a lot of gecko signs. What's my laser pistol look like? Repair that with that. Machete. Repair that with that. Um, Binoculars. Do I not have a... I don't even have a pistol? Alright. Science it is. What makes a laser interesting, chat? Henry Van Megan. Mengen. Or, yeah, Megan, sorry. Uh, even though this doesn't do justice to all the co awesome content you do over the years, we masses have spoken. Thou art worthy, my liege, with the five European, do or European dollars. Thank you, Henry. Thank you for being here this whole time. I do appreciate it. What makes a laser cool? What makes a laser interesting? Ooh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out a bunch of these raiders and take their, take their clothes. What makes a what makes a laser interesting? It's interesting in that the waves of light or the photons that make up that light are in sync, by which I mean they're of a similar wavelength and a similar frequency. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. I don't know, Sergeant Metalface. Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Spring. It's your ass. <laughs> it is. Um. Ooga booga, light make fire? No. So what a laser does is with this light that is in sync... You can have it be one solid color, which is good. Normally the light, like the light that's hitting my face, going into your eyes, coming out of your light bulbs, that light is of all different uh, wavelengths. And so it's just white. It's not green or red or anything like that. A laser beam is a single color, like red. Ah! Because it's of one wavelength. Uh, and what a laser will do then is with this concentrated light, or, or, uh, oh, wait, landmine. <laughs> I remembered it within five feet of where, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, don't go, yeah, 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 excuse me, um, what a, nice thing, what a laser does is then deposit the heat energy of the photons of light 
into this small space, the uh, the target area. That area... Where are these fools? Yeah. That area... I... Heats up. And uh, heats up to the point of vaporization. It turns to vapor, and this creates a little pfft or burning that you see in laser targets. Um, and so that's what we want to do. But lasers don't have recoil because photons do not have mass. Well, they have some recoil, but since photons do not have mass, you would not get a psh, psh, like that. That's what that's the equal and opposite reaction of firing a bullet, something with mass at extremely high velocity, but a laser, extremely high velocity, of course, the fastest velocity, the speed of light. Light only has a little bit of momentum. And so even an extremely powerful laser like one that could immediately blind you, like I have many, um, you turn it on, of course, you feel nothing. And so a laser pistol like this, you'd probably feel nothing as well when you fired it. Science time! Man. Look, chat, chat, I already have maidens. I don't need... I don't need maidens. Where are these raiders? I know you're around just somewhere. Just wait. I need some range here, huh? Just... <laughs> oh, I do have a... Oh, it's right there. DP it. Damn. 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 I'm gonna make that. And I'm gonna make that. Yep. Are there magnets in lasers? I don't know. Probably. There's magnets in everything these days, baby. Where are all the raiders? Are they sleeping? No. I know there's one in here. I know there's one in here. Can lasers make a magnet? Lightning magic, says Ross King. Ross, get out of here. Go back to Tolarian Community College. Uh-oh. That didn't turn out so well for them, huh? I thought there was raiders. Oh. Do you guys if I'm, do you guys mind if I sleep in here? Uh, that's uh I'm sorry I just I'm sorry um do I still have a pit boy light if I hold this on hey you won't be needing this you won't be needing this you won't be needing this hmm hmm looks like you're doing some science here give me your camera Activate a turret. Back to sneaking. Ooh, a little fancy boy. Excuse me. Listen to this nerd explain lasers to a bunch of other nerds. Yeah, that's why we're all here. Oops. I guess I'm the fool. Hit. This controller's way too sensitive. Hey, bye. Bye bye. Someone's about to get knifed. Oh, no. Hey, no. Hit. I can do that, too. It's way too sensitive, man. It's fine. You're just gonna. 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 Hang out there, like... What happens if I slowly approach you? Like the gecko, the escaped convict does not know how to handle such a slow-moving predator. In its evolution... In its evolution, the escaped convict has never had to deal with a predator such as this one. And so, slowly approaching, the convict drops his weapons and decides to cower in fear like the fool that he is. Not only <laughs> will the predator not hear his plea, but he will approach even more slowly to bring what can only... Crotch. Hey. Oh.
Aiming for the crotch. The predator. <laughs> <laughs> Abby Vice says, Kyle, what is autism for you? Oh, look at all this stuff. Dynamite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, see, there's your problem. You're using a varmint rifle. That's not going to do crap. Um, ASD for me is, uh... It, it holds no special place for me other than... It was a way for me to learn about myself. That's it. I wanted to know why it is I thought the way I did, um, why I interact with people the way I do. Um, but other than that, it's it's not something that I feel uh, compelled to, you know, go into super depth on. You know, as a as like a. Uh, who, uh, what I'm trying to get it. Who am I to tell you, you know, about it? It's it's more of a personal thing for me. I you need a higher difficulty. Yeah, you, hey, you, you need a higher difficulty. Think your plans. Town's gone to hell. I'm gonna reprogram the robot to be the sheriff. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband of Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm yeah, a trader you, primarily. You do look a little thick. For what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local For a science boy, you were pretty outpost. tank. Says the Joker. Tank? What do you mean? But I'm going to reprogram the robot. Howdy. Don't talk to me. What's up, Prim Slam? Goo-goo! Wait, I have to go kill the raiders in that other part first. Here we go. There's more guys around here, isn't there? Guess not. Oh, I'm gonna dynamite the crap out of some of these losers. Needs more sp Yes. 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 Dynamite. Or oh, TNT. Stands for trinitrotoluene and has it releases something like 4,182 joules per gram, I think. Like 4.2 kilojoules per gram. Baba. <laughs> Matter beam, you still in here? You want to check me on that? Oh! Die! Die! <laughs> had enough? Have I had enough? <laughs> oh man, the mechanics in this. Oh, you want to have a? You want to have one of those fights? Wait. You want to have one of? The, wait. You want to have? Wait. You want to have one of? Wait. You want to have one of? The, They run in fear. They run in fear because they know what I got. They know what I got. <laughs> so, uh, chat. So, chat, if you haven't seen this game before, it is notoriously buggy. And we have already seen that to full effect. Backspace Punk with a 10 says, but what damage does a K KJ does, huh? I, 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 I don't know what that means. Hey. This is hopeless. Hey. 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 No, don't leave. Damn it. Oh, you want to play that game? I don't think you do. You like that? Do you like that? Oh, 
you running any mods? No. If you pickpocket the robot and put a grenade in his pocket, he does a little dance. I don't believe you. I don't want to kill the robot. Like I said, this knife is very... Ah, very good. Nope, no one's here. No one's here. No one's here. Kyle have a, num a conundrum. I was watching those yes, videos... Yeah, I guess there's nothing. I was watching those videos and can still figure out where this planet came from. Help, I'm lost. The moon is to the far left, but the planet next to the sun makes no sense. Watching though those videos and still can't figure out where this planet came from. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes. They sense nothing. And with nothing sensed, the credit... The predator... Wait. Who was that? You like that? Had enough. <laughs> no. Knifed! Come here. Come here. Here. You like here. that? <laughs> you can't hit a moving target! This knife is so good. Where are you going? He attempts to limp away, but forgets. That the predator has what is called a projectile weapon. <laughs> Picking up varmint rifles so I can get some. Hey, are you just old me? Oh, just a second. <laughs> I'll get you out in a second, buddy. I don't suppose you came here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Get out. Get out. Get out of here. You. You. You, you coward. Yeah, give me that wine. Purified water, purified water. Um, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk to Slim Jim. Uh, how do you purify water from radioactive contaminants? Chat, how do you do that? Oh, actually, it's, it's about, we'll get back to that in just a second, because it's about time that we take just a little bit of our break. Um, I'm gonna take five minutes to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Don't leave, because I will know if you do leave. I have drones <laughs> monitoring your locations. Five minutes, we'll be back. Then remind me to talk about the purification of radioactive whatever. One second. See you soon.
that. Hello. We are still here. We'll be streaming for about another hour or so as we are here, as I'm about to do. If you like what we're doing here, and I like doing it with you, make sure to like, like the stream, like, subscribe to the new channel if you want us to continue on with our Scientist Plays excursions. It's going to help us. It helps me help you. Come on, let's do it. Um, Victivity says one way to treat uh, radioactive water is to boil it. No. How does one purify rad water, Kyle, says Buster Sharp. Thank you all for reminding me. These streams are always fun, says Nightcrawler. Get in here. Now, um, we'll get back to radio wa radioactive water in just a second. But, as I said in the previous stream, yes, Jeff Wilkinson, I'm not your science daddy. All right? I'm not old enough. Uh, as I said in the previous stream, Check out the latest episode of The Facility where we try to estimate whether there are more doors or wheels in the world. Next video at The Facility will be a long one. I don't know if it's going to go out this week because uh, me and my team are going out to Vegas. Um, and it's going to be the longest episode ever. I think on the channel about Three Mile Island. Science stepbrother, Alex, get out. Um, I'm stuck. And of course, we just finished Office Hours. If you want to go check out another live stream where we're talking about sciencey stuff specifically. But today on Scientist Plays, here in the Command Center, we are taking on Fallout New Vegas, where we've talked about geckos, we've talked, we're about to talk about radioactive water, we've talked about trinitrotoluene, which I think, let me double check that, because that is a stat that I know off the top of my head, but I don't, I might be order of magnitude wrong. Um, energy density TNT. 4.6 million joules per kilogram, which dividing each by a thousand is 4.6 kilojoules per gram, right? One ton of TNT equivalent is 4.184 gigajoules. So what, what I said, I said 4.18, didn't I? Didn't I? God, I'm so smart. So that means for each gram of TNT exploded, 4.184 kilojoules of energy is released. I am the smartest man in the continental United States and no further. Anyway, we learned about the energy density of, of TNT. And I'm sure we have many more lasers. I'm sure we have many more sciencey things to get to. No, I did not know Kyle had a Discord, says Jacob Eaton. Get in the Discord by joining patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. Get all of the amenities here at the facility from videos early to private monthly live streams. Basically, shareholders meetings. Behind the scenes content and bloopers and the official Discord. Rackspace Punk says, okay, okay, with a 10. But how much damage does one kilojoules do? Science me, please. Um... One gram of TNT is four kilojoules. So how much is one kilojoules? Um, it's hard to come up with an equivalent for explosive energy like that. Um, how much would it... How, how much damage does one kilojoules do? Hmm. What did I just come back to, says Nick? Nick! The same thing. You know, me being just... Handsome and entertaining, you know. Um, how much would one kilojoules hurt? So, maybe, what? Well, let's put it this way. So, an apple <laughs> weighs about one newton. Um, which is its mass multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity on Earth, which is... 9.81 meters per second per second or 10 ish um so if an apple is one newton we're doing all, all this in real time chat so if an apple is one newton uh that means it's what oh uh... <laughs> it's 
Is it one Newton? It might be like 10 Newtons. I don't know. I'm, I'm not doing this very well. Uh, I think it's, I think it's one Newton. Yeah. One Newton. Um, so can I, what I'm trying to get to is how much it would, uh, one kilojoule would hurt in terms of an apple hitting you in the face. So, so, uh, if an apple is one Newton, that means it's weight multiplied by 10 is one. So it is 0.1 kilograms. Which means one half of 0.1 kilograms is 0 0.05 times velocity squared to get to one. So what squared times 0 0.05, 0 0.05 times, uh, what? 20? 0.20? Oh, no, no, 20 to get to one. Yes, 20. So what times what equals 20? About four? 4.5 meters per second? And 4. Uh, so 4.5 meters per second is... Uh... 4.5 meters per second is, uh, wait, do I know the, the miles per hour conversion? No, I know the feet per second conversion. So 4.5 meters per second is roughly, uh, roughly 12, 13, let's 14, let's just say 14 or 13, uh, 14 feet per second and feet per second to miles per hour is, 1.5 conversion rate so set <laughs> are you guys freaking out like i'm freaking out here are we near the end already says kaylee teddy no we have about another hour um <laughs> i think it's getting hit in the face with an apple going like 10 miles an hour let me double check <laughs> uh do you know it's difficult to do this in real time um, 1.5, uh, 0.5 times, oh, I, 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 I messed it up. I messed it up. I messed it up. No, I didn't. Times, what, seven, what did I say? What did I... If I am even close using all these factors in real time in front of all you dorks, I will once again shout compute. This is my kind of gaming. Oh, it was way off. <laughs> okay, I was way off. Of course I was. I must have been off on a factor of 10 somewhere. Oh, wow. No, this is way... Okay, yeah, no, I was way up. Where was I so far off? No, one, one, one kilos. Why was I so far off? That, that will annoy me. Wait, what am I, what am I fucking up here? Uh... <laughs> um so to answer your question what does one kilojoule of energy feel like what would it hurt um it would be <laughs> wait that, I, oh god i'm um One kilojoule of energy would be like getting hit by an apple in the face at Mach 1. Ben Castle with the one. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so, science time, again. Yeah, a kilojoule would hurt. Um, yeah, so imagine... 
imagine something tra- imagine an apple traveling faster than a than a plane hitting you in the face that's one kilojoule that's a that's 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 ouchy time um so another science time chat the existence of purified water implies that there is non-pure water which is in this case in this game radioactive water and radioactive water is of course a thing it's a natural byproduct of any nuclear reactor in normal operation it can also leak into the environment during an accident like at fukushima um how do you remove that radioactivity from that water so that you can process it reuse it or even which is possible and is okay um uh, disperse it back into the ocean or something like that where's my hat oh i didn't take my hat oh how do you do that well there's two main ways now them's a now them's a varmint rifle there's two main ways to do that one yeah give me that is to use high surface area stuff to very simply just absorb or or catch the radioactive particles fission products from something like a reactor um and some of those high surface oh time to hack the planet some of those high surface uh, area materials is like something you've heard before activated carbon um activated carbon has some of the highest surface area of any material it's like basically just crushed up charcoal and it has a like a thousand square meters of surface area per gram so like the weight of a paperclip in carbon having more surface area than the skin of 500 people That's a lot of surface in one gram. That's nuts. And so with so much surface area, so many nooks and crannies, particles that are that small can get caught in them. And that's why you use activated carbon in your water filters, for example, because it can catch particulates, uh, bacteria, other things like that. So that's one way. Another way is if uh, filtration is uh, you need to do something else in filtration or you need to do something before you filter it to make the particles themselves bigger stuff like cesium-137 and stuff, or iodine, you first put something in the water that reacts with those fission products. So you put some other um, powder in there that preferentially binds with those fission products, clumping together with them, flocculate coming together into bigger masses so that those bigger masses can then get filtered out. And that's how you do it. Heyo. Version. This was Wordle before Wordle was Wordle. Um, so three out of three out of ooh, that's only two. Uh, one, two, three. Try it. Okay, so it's not I O N, which means it could be winning. So it's not I O N. What's the only one it has in common with that? Uh, nothing. So it's neither of those three. Or it could be the I. It's, it could be the I. No, it can't. How many square football fields per gram is that? Says Andre Kraka with the $5 donation. Um, I don't know how wide a football field is. Uh, let's say it's 20 meters across. I don't know. I don't know how wide. It's not as, it's not a square. It's a rectangle, right? Um, so let's lay, let's say it's 20 meters across by a hundred meters. That's about a hundred yards. Um, so that's 2000 meters right there. So it'd be half a football field of surface area, right? I'm not doing so well on this one. Going to have to switch it up. No, it's not that. It's not that. Wait, it could be that. Damn! <laughs> uh, now I have to now I have to cheat because I'm bad because I didn't I I was close but then I got too far away 
Does this one have cheats like uh, Fallout 4 has cheats, or am I just or am I just screwed now? Football fields are 50 yards across, so 50 times 100, 50 times 100 is 5,000, so it's one fifth. <laughs> one fifth of football field. So it's not, so it's not, um, it's not I O N, it's not I N G. So it's it's not. I O N or I N G I O N I N G, I N G, I tried villain. So let's try warlike. Damn. Um. Not I O M. Not I N G. Not V. What well, could be V? Could be V. Okay. So it looks like it is. Tim's. Maybe. How do Geiger counters work? We'll get back to it. Uh, veggie? This is one of the harder ones, actually. Veggies? Bam! It play. If you're confused, there, it's it, it's the same thing as Wordle. For what? Bones? I don't need more bones in my life. Give me your, give me your bone gun. Nope. Can't say no. I don't care about the rest of your bone or sure. I have maidens. Get out of the chat. I'm gonna take this varmint rifle. Uh, I'm gonna take this varmint. Because I got some range on that one. Yeah, right. Do you have 10 intelligence? Well, I'm still... I'm low level, but I will go to 10. Because I'm a smart Howdy. man. I'm a smart man. Wait, who do I have to talk to? Wait. Beak? Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Yeah, these bots are pretty wild, Nick. I thought that was you for a second, but you wouldn't do but that to me. it was quite me. thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time? Why don't you be the law and prim, me? What are you talking about? You're a sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. That funky Jomo Sapien says you look just like Adam Cole. Yes, except he's... Well, he's probably a little bit bigger than me. He's in better shape, for sure. Yeah, 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 I'm so funny. Uh. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. You know, like a robot with a, <laughs> with a, named Myers who has with a cowboy hat. A no. No, no, I'm not making, I'm not making a convict. No. You also may be No. I'm going to talk to the robot. You are less trustworthy than this, than this, look at me, look, <laughs> stop it. Than this cowboy Hi, robot. Hey. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. You sound like three, dog. This is where the science comes in handy. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! <laughs> Michael Skinner says, I'm watching you on YouTube. <laughs> it's the only place you, you, you could be uh, uh, doing that. And with that chat, with the power of science, we skip the whole second part of that quest. Um... Is lock picking sciency? Blowing stuff up is sciency. That's what Adam told me. And I believe anything Adam says. Kyle choosing prim slim, very based, obviously. Those other guys were too uh, and trustworthy. I can imagine your career is just a giant nerd filled with maxed out intelligence and science telling all the wastelanders how radiation and physics work. I've often thought to myself, if I was in some sort of apocalypse or zombie, whatever, who gives a shit, um, I often thought to myself, w would I actually, knowing things that I know, like I'm not a PhD or anything, I'm not a working scientist, 
I have an education, but you know. How good would I how good would me personally, how good would I actually be in um in helping people in a in a disaster situation? Like a post apocalypse. Like would do I actually know enough where I'd be like, oh, go to go to our local scientist, Kyle, he helps with that kind of thing. Like I I don't I can't like build a computer or something. Like would I actually be of service or am I just full of it you know hey can I have your clothes <laughs> thanks um I think about that sometimes it's like am I just talking the talk and I can't walk the walk at all sometimes I worry about that think you'd make a good teacher huh. that's not a, yeah yeah I might not be out there you know building a water purifier but I can yeah I can I can point you in the right direction there I'm going right there Kyle would be a followers of the apocalypse probably yeah I'd wear a robe and I would have long hair and I'd tell people what to do and then I'd break a couple of fish into like a million fish and then um thousands of years later people would get really angry about stuff I said You're certainly better than fantastic, that's for sure. Yeah, that guy... See, now, that guy... I know what I don't know. That was a weird wasteland uh, trigger. Where was that? Who are you guys? Convicts. The prey senses nothing. Hey, Aldous, Kyle usually save these VODs. Yes, this this whole thing will be up on the gaming channel, which you are watching right now. He senses nothing. And with nothing sensed, the predator approaches his prey slowly. And then they do that, so I will approach less slowly and get out my trusty trinitrotoluene. They suspect nothing. They suspect nothing. They suspect nothing. Hey. You're convicted of... Dad! Oh. Um. Who did that? Jackals? Uh-oh. Man, you guys got iced. You're convicted of being thick. Says Andre Graca. Andre, keep together, yeah. Jackie, you uh, you don't look so hot, huh? Stay back. <laughs> That's what a killer jewel feels like, baby. Andre, okay, you can just, you can be weird, just be cool about it. Is this better than my armor? Oh, I can use, a. Uh... Can I drink all that? Yeah, that fuse would uh, blow a lot longer than that. Wow, the stream is really blowing up, says Kavik. Is it? I don't pay attention to those things. Can I repair this with... Yeah. Uh... Why did I pick that up? You know why it's... Well, you know why it's blowing up even if you're memeing on me right now? It's because... We are here on Scientist Place. Scientist Place brings you the very best in classic game gaming and seeing what we can learn as we do so. No. Other. No. Uh, no. Other. Sh Wait. No. Uh, no. Other. Stream. Can say. 
that they are a scientist bringing you through some of your favorite games, seeing what we can learn, seeing what fun we can have. You gosh darn right. Welcome. Are you using any mods? No. Inclement death. Welcome. I've always embraced death inclemently, so I appreciate that. Not related, but the triangle inscribed within a circle where the vertices are on the circle. Nick, we used... Nick, I don't need your judgment. I just need, you know, the occasional comment. The spicy comments. My little brother just asked... Not related, but for a triangle inscribed within a circle where the vertices are on a... You're going to make me do geometry in real time? Where the vertices are on the circle, will the center of the circle always be in the center of the triangle? Um... Only if that triangle is equilateral. If the equilateral triangle fits within the circle and the vertices are inscribed on the inside of the circle and it's equilateral, then the center of the triangle will be the center of the circle. I think. You know it's both. Woohoo! Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear combat noises from giant ants! Am I yelling at you guys? I'm sorry. Now, there's a sniper lady up here whose name is Ghost, and she's very pale. And it reminds me of a lot of ladies I know, Nick. Uh, but she's cool, and I like sniper rifles, so. Geometry makes my brains hurt, says Kaylee Teddy. Eh. Yeah. Take those splodies up to the right. I'm not going to kill the people up here. First of all, because I don't need to anger any main factions just yet. And second of all, uh, they would kill me. Because I think some of the uh, rangers, the guys who are very famous on the front of the game's cover, um, they're super high level and they got high level stuff. So they... they... Medicine chems, hacking, pretty much everything perk on the intelligence tree, lockpicking... Sneak, energy, yeah, 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 oh yeah. You know, it, I do, I do, I do wonder if, like, I actually would know anything useful in a situation like this. Like, would anyone, like, <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is that, do I have anything that is useful to anybody? Controlling the Mojave almost makes you wish, wish for, for a nuclear, nuclear winter. The idea of a nuclear winter... The idea of a nuclear winter was very popular um, back in the 80s when people like Carl Sagan were trying to calculate whether or not enough... Backtrack. So a nuclear winter is the idea that if enough nuclear bombs went off, they would throw so much dust and soot and other material into the atmosphere that it would block out the sunlight enough to lower the average temperature of the planet, maybe catastrophically, um, where crops die, etc., etc. Um, and if people can't eat, then billions of people die. Um, that's a basic idea for a nuclear winter. And since the 1980s, it's kind of gone back and forth, where uh, studies have said nuclear winter makes sense, or that actually it definitely wouldn't make sense or it would happen or it wouldn't happen. Um, so the idea of a nuclear winter is actually not as um, settled as it is in popular cult, uh, popular culture consciousness. Daryl. Oh crap. I caught Kyle gaming on YouTube, not just gaming. Talking to pale sniper ladies and gaming. Heard your footsteps coming up the ramp. Didn't sound like a trooper or one of the merchants. You a courier? You don't if impress so, me with hearing me coming day. up the ramp. If you don't mind You'd impress me if it was like, oh, I clocked you half a good. click out near Prim. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. I can make a chain whip. Hold up, at the center of the triangle... Where it's equidistant from all vertices, then yes, the center of the triangle would be the... No, 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 I don't... No, no, I... Chris. Chris Riley. I mean... Equilateral triangle means that each side of the triangle is the same length. If that... If the vertices of that were touching the circle... 
that means it's a constant radius. So the center is the center. I'm extra pale today just for your stream, says Nick. I believe that. You're so pale that, um, I didn't want to tell you this until I saw you, but you're so pale that, uh, you're like, kind of like transparent where you can see your heartbeat like a tiny baby frog. <laughs> Depends on the work. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town, I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. Uh, that's even worse. Left, they'd be in the Nipton town hall. Go there. Check it out. You go check it out. <laughs> Mind yourself on the plank going down. You think I can't walk my walk my sweet my sweet little butt down these planks? Of oh! <laughs> I'm gonna clear out these ants. Chat. We have about another half hour of sweet, sweet science and gameplay. Ask me your questions. Like the stream. Do whatever. Do it. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... My last ex des described herself like that one time, so pale she's translucent. Uh, citizens, I guess. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic. Just need something outbursts. from the logbook. Just I'm keeping tabs on traffic. Makes you get nuclear winner. What's the science of that, says Warmaster? Nothing can stop time. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it sh Also, if you need any gear check. Help? He sort of. Where's the ants? Where's the ant man? Hey. Hey. Ranger Jackson. Ooh! Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry. Only Lots. Through. I have maidens. If you're passing through, Xander, that guy says, Kyle, I'm a wilderness expert. I can't tell you that a lot of the problems and dire situations are actually just logic, but hunger and stress causes people to make the wrong decisions. Well, I have watched a lot of Survivor Man and Bear Grylls, so I'm pretty sure I'm fine. And then, so I'm not like immediately dead. And then I'm out there in the wilderness. See, maybe like the one up I have on like a PhD guy or gal or them who would like be really useful in apocalypse. Like, no, you go to them. They can do the calculation. I think the one up I have on them is that I could probably beat up those nerds, you know? And so. Yeah. I think that's the important part. Hell, no. So many of you have the same voice. Would you want to survive in an apocalypse, says Nick? Nick, it's literally the only thing that you can do. So, you might as well do it. And you know that I want to live in a bunker anyway. Those handlebars, though, says Kaylee Teddy. You can't super tell from my mustache, but my my mustache is gross. The length, my mustache, the ends of my mustache can touch the top of my head here. So if you shave my beard off, I would look like that guy. That is to say, vis-a-vis, -vis, concordantly, gross. Um, I have to kill those ants for a quest, but uh, I don't remember that where that quest was. Rock climbing seems useful, says Rock, Ross King. Eh, depends where you are. Uh, rock climbing, in my experience, rock climbing would come in very handy in a, in a zombie apocalypse where you have to, like... Oh. Hello, Texture. Um, in a zombie apocalypse where you might have to, like, quickly scamper up the side of a building or something to get safe. You know? Ants are down here. I need to kill them for some kind of quest. I'm gonna do it anyway. I've seen a couple vis-a-vis -vis concordant. I'm, I'm do if any of you are as old as me, I'm doing a joke for when the second Matrix movie came out and uh, Will Ferrell made fun of it in the MTV Movie Awards in an intro. It's an old, old video. Um, I've seen a couple of video essays from people about how this long after the nukes, nukes dropped, nature would have reclaimed pretty much everything. Thoughts on that? Um... Nature is incredibly resilient. You can even see in a place like Chernobyl, which is heavily irradiated, 
um, nature is there, and nature returned, and nature is nature. Um, animals live there, uh, a, a large population of wild dogs live there, insects are all over the place. It's not a wasteland, as you hopefully have learned from my videos. Um, that is to say, I think a post-apocalypse that is a lot more reclaimed by nature is much more likely than one that is in a complete wasteland. Um, it's close. I, I believe it would be closer to something like The Last of Us than something like Fallout. However, in this game specifically, we are in a desert, and deserts do look like this. I'm going to Vegas this weekend, and on the way there, it it looks like this. It looks like a bunch of nothing. But do you, you know one thing that's nice about driving to Vegas? You get out in the desert like this, you pull over, and um, it's so quiet. It's so flat, and there's no trees to bounce sound waves off of. And so you hear almost no echo. It's just very, very quiet. I have zero chance at it. Oh, yeah. We'll see about that. Moron. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about that? Okay. Okay, maybe zero chance to hit. I keep I keep hitting the... Ah! I keep... Ah! Completely planned. I keep <laughs> I keep hitting the sprint button, forgetting that I can't I don't sprint in this game. Hello, little one. Okay, that didn't work like I thought it did. Keep pressing that wrong. Um. Uh. Sorry for resending. It's gonna be buried in chat. Just checking my Geiger counter question is good again. Answered. I says hello, Ola, Andre Graco with another one dollar donation. Andre, thank you. Um, we'll talk about Geiger counters. I, I saw you. I saw you. Don't worry. Don't worry, baby bird. Stay there. Stay there. Don't move. <laughs> Don't move. What I'm worried about is that my general explanation of Geiger counters is inaccurate because it, it's not, it's not uh, something Santa cannot hold dead. Hey, um, because I'm, ah! I'm worried. Andre, someone had a couple of gin and tonics, huh? Sorry, right. it's Tuesday. Um. See, there we go. Uh, I'm worried that my explanation of Geiger counters is inaccurate. That's why I'm stalling on that. Um, because I don't want to say something wrong. But I believe it's, it's um, radiation actually creating a small charge difference in the sensor. Uh, you know, the flow of electrons slightly changes because it's being hit with high energy particles and or radiation like gamma rays. And you just, tran you just, uh, computationally, not computationally, you transduce that change in voltage to a sound or a beep. So you say, if this circuit encounters a, a ch an instantaneous change in charge or what have you, it goes, Kick! and so high level radiation will sound like a lot of that impingement, right? Like, and if it's not a lot of radiation, it will be a lot slower and a lot less, right? And that's because it is a physical impingement of the flow of electrons. And I, I think I'm right. If anyone can uh, tell me in chat, some of the first Geiger counters or simple Geiger counters work like that, I believe. Um, but much more fancy ones like we had in Chernobyl, I don't know if they work like that. Um... Let's see all the people who died in Nipton. Because we, because chat, we want to make it to Vegas, right? Of course we do. We got to get to Vegas. So we got to, we got to take the safe pathway to Vegas. Um, the, the Geiger counters that we had in Chernobyl, um, one of them was $80,000. And it was the size of my phone. Incredibly, incredibly specialized. Aw. I have to switch. That's a. I, I want the upper. 
Oh, I'm not going to get past those freaking scorpions like this, huh? I can't believe that the sound only occurs when ionization completes the circuit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm... I think that's what I was getting at, right? You get to Vegas in no time, says Warmaster. Yes, but we only have a couple more minutes on this stream today. This is our... Don't, but don't worry, Warmaster. Don't worry. Calm down. Um, this is only step one. We will continue on our uh, our quest maybe this week but definitely this uh because i'm going i'm actually going to vegas hence the stream um maybe this week before i go but we will continue on our new vegas journey i promise you that if not super soon then kind of soon only 80k oh. dang they they gave you the cheap one. ah who's shooting me Definitely not cheap. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! What, you didn't like that I killed Jackie? This, uh... I know that aim was terrible. It's just on the controller. It's just not... It's not super dope. We return to the TNT! Get a better haircut! <laughs> Andre with another one. Andre. Andre. Come on now. Hey. 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 Huzzah! I can do that too. Hit. Look, just because I killed your leader, no reason to get hostile. I'm going to drink your scotch and eat your noodles. Damn. I see. That's a hunting rifle, right? Eh. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Knife to meet you. I give up. Sheesh. Says Andre. What? What are you trying to do? I like. I like. I like. What are you trying to do, Andre? What are you trying to tell me with all these $1 donations, huh? What do you... What do you want from me? Uh, should I have a high lock pick? Lock pick? I do like lock picking. All right, all right. We are definitely educated. We are definitely educated. High level. High level education. <laughs> Let Andre speak. Andre, we're listening. What? I didn't say nothing. Cowboy repeater. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if though, if these knives can repair my uh, super awesome chance knife, I will be happy. I'll be a happy boy. Let's see. Damn! <laughs> and then Andre has his message deleted. Don't use all caps, Andre. Don't use all caps. You see what happens. Okay? Just be cool. <laughs> Almost out of bullets. I wish that knife... I really wish that knife uh, repaired those other knives. Because I think it's a combat knife. I think it's a Bowie knife, so I need another bow. Legs. Legs. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. No, I'm not going to die this stream. No. 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 Oh, there's so many of you. <laughs> oh yeah. yes, ants <laughs> to me. <laughs> you didn't plan on my ant army. 
I think this is a bad idea. Let's try it. Duck! Hit! Answer behind me! Ah! I keep pressing the sprint button thinking I'm in another game. Andre, I was trying to say that. The sheer diversity of life forms would not actually supersede the minimum mutation rate caused by radiation. Also, not dollars, BRL, so not as expensive. The sheer number would actually supersede the minimum... Yes, yeah, no, I agree with you, Andre. I agree with you. That, um... That it'd be... It's very unlikely to have mutant creatures in the way that you see. Wait. Do you mind? Hit! <laughs> Eat it! Have you had enough? <laughs> How many of you losers are out here? I'm losing my frickin' all my stuff. Yeah, come here. Come here, little baby boy. Come here. <laughs> Chat. Over 200 of you guys watching? That's pretty good for the new channel, huh? Not so bad. Okay, now where are... Oh, man. We had to deal a lot of damage, huh? I'm gonna deal a lot of damage. Okay, let's get to Nipton, and then I think we might be at the end of the road for today. We are Legion. Kyle, do you know what a nuclear sound, nuclear siren sounds like in Cal? I mean, the facility. I've never heard a nuclear uh, warning siren before. And you don't know where I am, a Liz. I called you a Liz. Do you like that? Um, Liz with the 10. But wouldn't it be impossible for all the insects to get that large of the amount of O2 in the atmosphere? Yes. Um, because of how they... Uh, yeah, I know. Because of how they breathe. Um, but back to Andre was... Oh, that's a weird... That's a weird sight. Back to what Andre was saying. Um... The background mutation rate, naturally, in just animals, in just natural cosmic radiation and animals just naturally uh, replicating. Yeah, you're right. It's not going to be anything like... That's already higher than what a highly irradiated environment is going to do, I think. Oh, it says you're, you're right about the Geiger counter. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Never felt better! Yeah! Bye. <laughs> what a change. Okay, so, um, spoiler alert, everyone in this town, uh, was, like, kind of kind of crucified <laughs> well that's a story for another day I suppose <laughs> chat chat today what did we do we chose our character who of course has some of the best second day hair in the business then we jumped in to fallout new vegas for the very first time not my very first first time my first time playing it with all of you seeing what we can science what fun we can have when we science we did we talked about everything from tarantula hawk wasps to the recoil or not in laser weapons to the energy density of trinitro toluene to uh how to get radioactive materials out look at that second day look at that 
how to get radioactive material out of drinking water. Chat, this is everything that you can expect from all of our Scientist Plays series. If you want more past streams, even a past stream going up tomorrow morning from Bioshock, subscribe to the channel, the gaming channel right now. If you want to see what we do for our day job, go to the main channel or join the facility patreon.com slash kyle hill where you get all of this and more videos early private members only live streams behind the scenes videos pictures and bloopers and our official discord of course where i will see many of you right after we are done um i need to eat something but uh no matter where i see you next time whether that's on the next scientist plays on this channel whether it's in the next office hours whether that's the next video which is going to be our longest yet, a half-life history of Three Mile Island. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, dusk. Wherever you are, I hope it's great. And uh, finally, thank you for supporting everything that we do here. Make sure to support each other. Because in the end, this is all we got. Take care.